Hey, hello, seventh graders. Um, we are on 3-6 today. This is um, second to last lesson in chapter three. We are going to be using the Pythagorean theorem to solve word problems, uh, real world problems, when you could use this in real life. Whereas in the last lesson, we just learned what it was, how to find the missing side of a right triangle. 167 in our textbooks. Please have your notes out, recording those things, uh, recording questions that you have, recording two things you know, one thing you're wondering, anything you need to bring to class that's helpful to you or any of your classmates. So, using Pythagorean Theorem. The Pythagorean Theorem can be used to solve a variety of problems. It really can. Okay, if you have Mr. Myers for uh, science, he'll help you, and that'll be good. So, parasail. Find the height of the parasailer above the surface of the water. So notice here we have a nice little picture. Um, we have some people boating and it looks like they're 135 feet away from um, the part of the water where the parasailer is above. Um, the diagonal at which, and maybe this is the rope of which he's parasailing, uh, is 200 feet. We're wondering about how high above the water he is. Um, and we can find that because what we notice is that the vertical and horizontal distances, uh, they form a right angle a right to make a right triangle. So we can use the Pythagorean theorem because of that. So knowing this, um, C squared equals A squared plus B squared, or in reverse, um, we replace the values we do know. We write the formula, replace the values we do know. We know C, our hypotenuse, which is the longest side and the side opposite of our right angle, we know that that is 200 feet, so we plug that in. Where you're looking for A, and we know B is 135 feet, so we plug that in. We evaluate the squares that we can. 200 squared is 40,000, excuse me. And A squared plus 135 squared is 18,225. From there, our goal is to get A alone. So what we do is we subtract this 18,225 from both sides so that it's gone on this side and that's just zero. That's why we have nothing here. And we do the same thing on the other side to end up with 21,775 is equal to A squared, meaning A times A. To get A alone, we have to take the square root, remember that symbol, the radical sign that we use, and that's why it is there. Um, and we get that plus or minus, you know when you solve the equation, it's both the positive and the negative. Um, and it's 148 or negative 148 approximately. Well, of course, since this is a real world situation, he's um, this parasailer is above, so it's gonna be that positive amount. And of course, I would label my answer with feet because it's situational. All right, so again, you're still looking at the triangle, but now it just has some meaning um, to what the triangle represents. Let's go ahead and give this aviation one a try. Um, notice that it says write an equation, so we want to see that work and see your work working to find D. Um, D is just standing for the distance between these airplanes. Um, and this is kind of a thing, if you are um, into air traffic control and airplanes, this would be, you know, they need to find out how far planes are from each other in the air so they don't hit. And so this would be something where they need to find out, okay, they're this far apart in length and height. Um, so how far diagonally would they be from? And notice you want to round to the nearest tenth. So, first thing I'm gonna do is write my equation. Uh, my equation, I can see that this forms a right angle, so I can use my Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Noticing that I am given A, I'm given B, and what I'm looking for, I know it represents D here, and that's okay. D is the same in this case as C, my hypotenuse, my longest length. So the equation piece is me plugging in what I know. So I plug in seven and I plug in 10 and I solve for C. So this is my equation piece. This is what um, you gotta get really good at for eighth grade. We wanna make sure that you know what the equation is and then your goal is to solve for C. So I evaluate um, the exponents. So seven squared is 49, remember it's seven times seven, not seven times two, plus 10 times 10 would be 100. And then that's equal to still the hypotenuse squared. Then I have, well, 149 is equal to the hypotenuse squared. 
And since I want to find just what one length of C is, I now take the square root. And since it, I, when I type that on my calculator, what you're going to end up with is a number that's 12 and 200, it goes on, it's 2.2. Um, 0.2055562. So it's a quite a big number, but I'm rounding to the tenths place. So rounding that zero is not going to round my two up, so I leave it here. It has a value of miles. And it could be the positive or negative, but since it's miles, it's a positive amount. And so I leave it positive instead of both negative and positive. This one's a little bit more challenging. Um, a circular lawn sprinkler with a range of 25 feet is placed 20 feet from the sprinkler edge of a lawn. You're supposed to find the length of the section of the lawn's edge that is within the range of the sprinkler. So the picture here, circular lawn, so we draw a circle and there's a sprinkler at the center um, and it's 20 feet from the edge of the lawn. So here's the lawn, the edge about, so we do this and then it, it has a range of 25 feet so it's supposed to be able to spray 25 feet away. So we're wondering um, the length of the lawn that is within the range. So we're looking for x here. And those are our answer values. So we know that it forms a right angle, so we can use Pythagorean theorem. We plug in what we're given. We know that a is 20. B stands for x technically right now, so we just replace x. And c is 25. So we replace those values here. We evaluate the squares. 20 squared is 400. 25 squared is 625. Subtract 40 from both sides to get x alone. We still need x alone. We have x squared, so we take the square root. Remember, it's a positive and negative answer. Um, so in this case, it's 15. And since this is a word problem, it's going to be 15 feet. Remember to label. Check your progress here. The rise of stairs of a building is 5 feet. Right here, the rise. How high from the bottom to the top? And the run of the stairs, how long they are, is 12 feet. We're wondering how long is the point from A to B. So really, how far am I walking when I go up the steps? So again, I use the Pythagorean theorem because I see, that's a 2, <laughs> I see that um, the rise and the run create that right angle. So I can use the Pythagorean theorem. I see that, and I could use this as A or B, these two. So I'm going to use this 12 as my A. I'm going to replace those values. I'm going to re replace B with 5. And C is what I'm looking for. C is the distance from A to B. 12 squared is 144. 5 squared is 25. Again, you can use your calculator, you know. And that's going to be equal to the hypotenuse or the, um, the stairs squared. Adding these together, I end up with 169 is equal to c squared. To find out what c is alone, I must take the square root. And again, I would get that third positive or negative. 13 is equal to c. Since this is a word problem, it has a value. My answer is going to be f, 13 feet. So today, really... We just um, applied the skills of Pythagorean Theorem from what we learned the other day, and now we're going to apply them to situations. So make sure that you're showing all of your work, you're remembering how to round, ask questions, write things down, um, check out the video again. Examples in the book look pretty good. Um, those personal tutors could be helpful as well. So have all those things ready, and we will see you next time.